Hey, welcome back. Um, in a previous screencast, I showed you how to use WebMiner uh, to do some pretty basic uh, data extraction. And by data extraction, I mean um, we found some structured data on a web page. Well, structured in the sense that it was organized in a certain order, uh, but it wasn't in, it wasn't tabular. And so, because it wasn't tabular, we weren't able to just cut and paste it and put it into a nice um, spreadsheet. Uh, but we were able to instead sort of uh, get WebMiner to extract some sort of structure out of that data and we were able to download that as a CSV file and start kind of a little bit of a database. Um, I'm going to show you a different tool to do uh, a very, very similar thing. Um, I, I really love this tool. This is uh, called uh, Dapper. Um, the address is open.dapper.net um, and it's um, I've actually found that um, I've had better luck um, extracting data from websites using this tool than WebMiner. WebMiner, as I mentioned before, can be kind of glitchy sometimes. It, it doesn't always extract the data in the order that I want it to. Um, I found that Dapper does a better job of it. The only problem with Dapper is that sometimes sometimes it's not available. Um, it's sort of, it, it is owned by Yahoo. Um, I'm I'm not quite sure how much of a priority it is for them, but um, sometimes it's down. But right now it's up, so we're going to try doing the screencast. I'm going to show you how this works. It is a really cool tool to use, and so I, I encourage you to look into this. It's it's really um, um, nice to use. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I've created an account. You technically don't actually need to create an account to do this, but I like having an account. Um, you there are these. You can search for existing content feeds and and things like that. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a new DAP. To do that, I click this link that, that says create a new DAP. That brings us to this page, what's called the DAP Factory. And I want to make something clear. We're actually using, for, for the purpose of what I'm doing, we're actually going to be using Dapper in a slightly different way than I think what it's intended to do. Okay? Um, and that's fine, right? Because we're just we're just using tools, you know, to, to get done what we want to get done. Here's what I want to get done. I'm on the Earshot Online website here. This is the National Campus and Community Radio Report for Canada. And this is a list of all the reporting stations. These are all the recording, or the... <laughs> the radio stations, the campus and community radio stations in Canada that actually report their charts to earshot. Okay, so I think you know where I'm going with this. Um, I, and here they are, they're all listed here. I think it would be awesome, and there's like about, I've counted these before, there's about, there's, I've done this before, so there's about 50 um, stations that all report to earshot. And they have information here, and there's their mailing address and their phone number, and ooh, look at that, the music director's name, and their contact info, and all sorts of things. So if you were sending, let's say you wanted to send your album or your single or whatnot to um, these stations in the hopes of charting on the Canadian Campus Radio um, charts, it sure would be handy to have this information, okay? Um, and uh, and I guess we could we could cut and paste this information into a spreadsheet, um, but it would take an awfully long time to do this. What I'd like to do is I'd like to use Dapper to be able to pull this information off much uh, much in a much faster way and keep everything organized so that I can have what I'm envisioning here is a nice spreadsheet with you know the first column would be the station name and then you could have the address and the postal code and the phone number and the music music director's name and contact and blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, so that's what I'd like to do. Obviously, because this isn't in tabular format, boy, that would be nice if it was in tabular format, but it's not. So we're going to have to figure out a different way to extract this. And let's see if we can use DAP Factory to, to do this. So what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the URL of the website right here. So that's just right up here, copying that. And I'm just going to paste it right in there, okay? That's the only page, okay? Dat Factor actually allows you to, Dat Factory allows you to have multiple pages here um, if you wanted to say extract data from multiple pages. But in this case, all the data I want is on this one page. So that makes that life a lot easier for us, okay? We're gonna click on next step. And what it's doing now is it's loading, it's going, Dat Factory is going, finding that, that web page right there and it's loading it up. Okay, it's going to load it up in this display, and we're going to see what happened. Now they say, hey, do you want to watch this demo? No, it's okay. I'm doing a demo. 
I'm doing the demo, so you don't need to watch a different demo. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to tell DAP what content we want to pull out. And so <laughs> the way I talk, the way, here's the thing. This, okay, this is just DAP factory or DAPR. This is just, you know, this is just a machine. It's kind of dumb. You need to tell it exactly what to do. Um, I think of it like if it, if it's makes it, if it makes you feel better, think of it like training a puppy, okay? When you get frustrated that it's not doing what you want it to do, I just want you to think about training a cute little puppy, and maybe that'll make you a little less frustrated, okay? So let's start training our little DAPR puppy, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to start off by saying, okay, I would like you to find, let's start with something real simple. How about the station station name or the station title up here? So I'm going to go ahead and see how when I hover over here, I can select different portions of this information. I'm going to say, OK, Dapper, I want this information. OK, and look at what it did. What a good puppy. It went and it selected this information for every single station and it tells me that there's 48 items and I happen to know that yes there are 48 stations that report to Earshot. Awesome! Okay so see they're all right down here previous selected content 48 that's great so let's save this as a field okay we're gonna save this and we're gonna give it a name the name is going to be mm, let's call it station name okay just station name sounds good I'm gonna click save and there we go it's right there we got our, we did our first field. That was actually pretty easy. Now let's go find the rest of this field. Okay, maybe just just for the hell of it, let's actually add this in here. And look at that, it did very well. It selected the station ID for everything. So let's go ahead and save this as station ID. I know it's I know it's redundant, but I'm just I'm just demonstrating how to pick all the items out. So far, so good. So far, Dapper is behaving really, really well here. Um, okay, let's break out this. Uh, we could break out the address. We could do this for everything. Why not? Shall we? Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and do this. Here's the full name, so I'll go ahead and select that. Oh my gosh, what just happened here? Bad puppy. Um, Dapper got super confused and is saying, oh man, I have no idea what's going on. I picked 375 records. Are these all the ones we want? No, we don't want all these. All we're trying to do is just isolate this one line right here. No problem. Guess what we do? See when we hover over here? See when you hover over the little cursor, it turns to a red circle with an X in it? I can, I can uncheck that. Okay, and see what happened there? There we go. Now we've got 47. That's okay. Don't worry if it's not 48. There's prob that probably just means that there's one record down here where they just don't have that, that full name. Okay, wow. Okay, Dapper's a good puppy. Dapper's learning very, very well. So let's go and click Save Field. Let's call this um, Station Full Name. I know I'm going, I'm going into great detail here. Please supply a name for the field. This is where sometimes Dapper gets a little glitchy. I just, I did select a name and then you click save again. Don't panic when that happens. It's going to happen. It's free tool. What can you do, right? Okay, let's keep going. Let's get the mailing address. Let's get the street or mailing address here. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And once again, oh, what a bad puppy. I'm going to unclick that. I'm going to unclick that. Basically what you're doing is you're just clicking around to get exactly the information you want highlighted in each record. That looks good. So let's call that mailing address, mailing address. These field names are arbitrary. I just like to pick names that make sense. Okay, let's go ahead and do, oops, we have to uncheck that, uncheck that, uncheck that. There we go. City and province. Looks like we can't subdivide it any further. That's okay, we can live with that. So let's do city and province. Okay, that's cool. Let's go save. There we go. Yeah, it's coming along. You might be wondering, why are we selecting each of these items individually? Because a really well put together database will have each of these fields separated. Okay, it's easy to put things back together. It's very hard to separate them. Look at that. You can preview all the content down here. 47 records looking awesome. It really, because we keep hitting 47, it's telling me that one of the records probably doesn't have a mailing address. That's perfectly fine. Let's save that as postal code. Okay, are you getting the hang of this? And look, Dapper's like, please supply a name for the field. Yeah, I gave a name. Maybe you just didn't read it. Okay, so let's keep going. We got phone number. Um, okay, what happened here? 
it recognizes two phone numbers. Dapper's pretty good, but a little confused. Let's say, no, 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 I don't want the music director's phone number. I just want the main phone number over there. So I'm going to unclick that. Pretty good. We're down to 48. That's excellent. So let's just say main telephone. Okay. Save. Uh, let's go through and do, how about the main email address? Once again, Dapper's confused and is pulling all the email addresses. And I'm like, dude, I don't want these yet. Okay, there we go. All the main email addresses. Ah, interestingly, we're missing some here. I wonder what happens if we put this back in. Okay, there we go. That's better. See, you need to be on the ball and you need to keep track of all this stuff. And 44, yeah, that makes sense. So that would suggest that four of the four of the stations don't have a main email address. Okay, that's cool. We can live with that. So let's say main email. Ooh. Yeah, click save again. All right, let's keep going. How about the website? Sure, I think we should keep track of the website. Oh, Dapper's getting confused. That's okay, be patient with your puppy. All right, there we go, 45, that looks good. So we've got 45 records down here. Yeah, I can live with that. Let's save that as website. Okay, and once again, okay. Uh, Twitter? Why the heck not? Sure. Now, notice the first one doesn't have Twitter. It's not the end of the world. We can pick this one right here. Okay, we've got all the Twitter. Oh, look at that. 47 of them have Twitter. Uh, so that's cool. So let's say main Twitter. Okay, click save. That's pretty cool. Um, what else shall we do? Okay, let's move over to the music department here. Let's get the music director's name. Let's go ahead and, oh, Dapper's getting confused. That's okay. Let's uncheck that. Uncheck that. There we go. 44 music directors. Yeah, that would make sense. Four of the stations probably don't have an individual listed. Everybody else, we've looked at all those names. Cool. Let's go save field. Let's say MD name. MD standing for music director. Okay. Let's get the music director's email address. Once again, Dapper's confused. You need to say, no, 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 I just want now, now I just want the email address for the music director over on this side. Cool, all right, we've got 46 records. Looks good to me. MD email, okay, save. Oh, it's saying, please save, there we go. Do it again. Let's try this again. Phone number, direct line for the music director, 36. Yeah, that looks right. Most of the, a lot of these don't have a, a direct line. So that's cool. All right, we'll go ahead and save that field. Let's say MD telephone. Okay, click save. Okay, anything else we want? How about uh, how about the Twitter, the, the old Twitter? Uh, should we bother uh, if we undo that? No, you know what? It just looks like there's just two there. So let's undo that. We won't bother with that. What we will bother with though is where the tracking hours are listed. Boy, I think that would be really handy to know, don't you? Um, so let's go ahead and select tracking hours. Now, not all of them are listed, but it looks like 31 of them are, and that's all going to be in your database. Do, are you starting to see why this is really, really useful to have all this information organized like this? I think so. So let's go and save field. Let's say tracking hours. Okay, let's click save. Wow. Okay, what, are, what fields do we have here? We've got the station name, ID, full name, mailing address, city and province, postal code, main telephone, main email, website, Twitter, email, uh, MD email, MD name. This looks awesome. Excuse me. <coughs> okay, I got too excited there. Um, I think we've pulled pretty much all the data off this page that we're going to be able to pull. So now we need to move to the next step. Okay, that's probably the portion of this that's going to take you the longest is going through and just identifying, you know, the individual elements that you want to save, okay, as and separate out as individual content. Um, now let's go ahead and click on the next step. And now what it's giving you is all this information, but it's it's all ungrouped, okay? Um, it's it's all kind of and this is. You know, now now we have to sort of figure out what we're going to do with this because we certainly this this looks currently like it's just one great big record and that that's not doing it for us. What we want, let's go ahead and select all that. Oh, that's uh, there we go. I just selected everything. See what it's doing there? It's pulled everything together and it's grouping it all. That's exactly what we want. 
right? We want every individual record grouped like that so that every single one will be on one line. This is excellent. Let's save this. Let's just give this a name. I'm going to run uh, station or uh, radio station. Let's call that, okay? Uh, save that and saying, please supply a name. Just click save again. Okay, groups, group by radio station, looking awesome. Let's go ahead and click next step. And now we need to save this. So I'm going to say list of Canadian campus radio stations. Okay, I'm going to leave description and tags open. Um, this uh, let's 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 make this a private DAP. Okay, so it's not going to be published publicly. And uh, and then after we save this, we're going to be taken to the new DAP. And you're like, whoa, what's going to happen? Well, let's see. Let's click the save button. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And there we go. Now we can use this. And we can actually select what format we want this in. And see, it's it's generating a preview down here. I'm not terribly concerned about the preview per se. What I really want is I want to be able to export this information as a CSV file. So let's go ahead and do that. And then it asks us, well, what information do we want to install or do we want to include in here? OK, and here, this is interesting because it looks like there's actually three versions of everything. That's just because of the way DAP generates all this information, generates some of it as, as href and source. Why don't I just select the pieces that I want here? I'm just going to do that. OK, I don't need all the code to go with it. Don't worry, you only have to do this once. And trust me, clicking on things is much easier than transcribing everything manually. OK, we got everything we want there. And here is our file. And you're like, that looks disgusting. Don't sweat it. I'm going to copy this. OK. And I'm just going to go ahead and open this in Text Wrangler. OK. Let's close that. Boom. Uh, don't save that. Let's, there we go. And you're like, what? That's OK. That's fine. We're just going to save as. And let's just call this Campus radio and what format are we going to save this as csv comma separated values absolutely i'm saving that on my desktop i'll go ahead and click save okay watch and learn we shall do that now i'm going to go ahead and open this in LibreOffice, and hope that i don't look like a fool no look at that hey i'm going to go ahead and open that and boom you now have a complete spreadsheet listing all of the radio stations that were listed on here. Okay, all perfectly organized. And you're thinking, well, what's the point of this? Well, this is very handy. Now you can use this to generate mailing address labels. You can use this to do all sorts of things. Now you might want to go in and just double check some of the data and clean it up. Um, but it shouldn't take you too, too long to do that. Now, one last thing I will say, OK, this is my 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 kind of uh, warning is, you know, don't be doing don't be abusing this. OK, I'm serious. Um, the, the last thing you want to just because you can scrape all this data and you can create an awesome you know, mailing list does not mean that you should be spamming these people. OK, that's not the purpose of building a database. The purpose of building a database is so that you can be really organized and you can you can track things and you can keep track of your communications with people. The purpose of building a database is not just so that you can just spam people and bulk email people. That doesn't work. That's not what's going to get your music played. And that's not what's, what people appreciate. Um, there's Definitely lots of valid reasons for keeping for for organizing data and for and for gathering data off of off of websites like this. But spamming people is not one of them. So don't be doing that. OK, use your power for good and not evil, or says the RoboBunny. OK, so um, I hope that that uh, was helpful to you. OK, Dapper is a fantastic tool and actually it worked fairly well there. So I'm really quite pleased. So make a note of that open.dapper.net. And whenever you run into sites that have this type of kind of semi structured data, um, give give it a try. Try extracting it using Dapper. And I know that there were a lot of steps there. But believe me, once you if you just take your time through each step, you'll find that you can actually save yourself a whole lot of trouble um, uh, and a whole lot of time. Um, 
um, just using this to transform your data into something a little bit more organized like this. Okay, that's all I got for you today. I hope that that was helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.